Our last speaker in the uh, e-commerce track is uh, Oremas Bakas. He's a serial entrepreneur, and he's uh, he, he's, uh, he's you know he started not not, uh, not uh, sorry more than one company, and uh, he knows what a startup is. He's actually sold uh, his startup DTechNet to a company called uh, Mark Monitor, and then Mark Monitor was sold to a huge uh, corporation Reuters. So he's going to tell more about it. But please welcome Oremas. Hi, my name is Aurimas and I'm going to speak more, mostly about payments today. And uh, some of you may have heard the presentation by Antanas Denis yesterday. He's the chairman of the Svet Bank, of the biggest bank in the, in the region. And uh, he gave a vision of how a bank will look like in a few years. A bank with no physical locations, a bank with no cash, a bank with no credit cards. And Borapay is a company which is building a platform to help banks to get to the future. We are five people company, and there is a list of the banks which are already competing to be the first on our platform, and we are bringing them to the future. That's what I'm gonna speak about today. I'm gonna speak about the future and how we are gonna help those banks to get there. And problem number one as we speak about, uh, about the future of a bank and about the payment system, it's a cash. You know, it's uh, staggering. We are currently living in the 21st century when uh, people are planning to conquer Mars, when an electric car is a norm, when every one of us has a mobile phone, maybe a few mobile phones, uh, a few SIM cards. However, if you look at the statistics, in Europe, more than 65% of payments are still done in cash. You know, it's, uh, it's unbelievable. And uh, the Scandinavian countries will look a little bit better but if you look at countries like Greece, like Italy, like Lithuania, how many payments in Lithuania are done in cash? What's the best guess? 70%? More? Less? It's, it's 80%. You know, Lithuania is a country of innovative, strong people who, who are eager to win, of people who are eager to achieve something, and it's 80%. People, what is wrong with us? No, it's, it's cash. It seems that we currently live in, uh, in the middle of a, of, a, of, a 20, of a 20th century. And that's the problem we are trying to solve. And some may say that uh, this problem is because of the gray economy, but let's leave it to the politicians. Let's take a look at what we can actually do. And there is a lot that we can do. You know, if you look at the current payment ecosystem, there is actually a lot of there are actually a lot of places and a lot of cases when you cannot make payments in a digital way. You can only do it in cash. And you can start from very simple situations like uh, every morning you have to give your son 10 liters. You have to give it in cash. You, even if you uh, transfer it into his credit card, he will not be able to use it in his, uh, in his school. If you want to borrow or lend uh, from your friend 5 liters, again, it's, it's, it's going to be cash. All the micropayments. Can you sell a song online for 10 cents? You cannot do that. All, all, all things like vending machines, in many cases parking, in many cases uh, taxes. Uh, there are hundreds of shops where you cannot use a credit card, where you cannot use any other digital way to, uh, to, to make a payment. There are hundreds of shops where it's a minimum 10 liters or 10 euro that, uh, that you have to use. And if you look at certain countries, there are entire uh, entire industries where only cash is used. Take, for example, Lithuania. You take the Lithuanian Post, you take the market, you take um, uh, the sun bathing uh, places, you take the self service uh, uh, car wash places. It's, it's only cash. And, uh, and, the, and I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards the fact that in our, in, in our, uh, in our, pay, our payment ecosystem, is not actually yet ready for the digital payments. And that's where we are trying to, uh, to go to the future payment ecosystem must work in all verticals. It must be B2C, B2B, C2B, and, and person to person. It must work everywhere, and it must work on all devices. So you can do anything that you want on, on, on your device, on your iPhone, on your mobile phone, on your iPad. It doesn't matter. But the key thing here is the infrastructure. The key thing here is the infrastructure because uh, this solution, in order, to, uh, in order to expand, in order to scale, it has to be cheap, it has to be sexy, it has to move forward fast. And in this case, it means there cannot be 
any hardware. We have to speak about solution which is software only. There is, uh, there is no hardware. It, it has to be secure and it has to be uh, a fair price. So, um, no investment, no end equipment, no plastic, no prepaid card, no, no fraud, no NFC. And in this case, I'm speaking about, uh, about NFC. Maybe one day it will be a possibility, but, uh, but still not today. So that's from a business perspective. It has to be cheap, it has to scale, it has to be easy. But take a look at this also from the human side. We have to engage people into the new payment ecosystem. We have to make it easy for them to use it. And uh, there are only a few examples here that I will be speaking about. Imagine you are sitting in a restaurant. This is uh, the lunch time. And uh, what happens when you want a bill? You invite a waiter, right? Sometimes it takes three minutes. Sometimes it takes five minutes for the waiter to come to you. Wouldn't it be sexy if you could just uh, scan a code on, on, on your table and get a receipt directly to your mobile phone? Just make a payment and that's it, and then you go away. What about all the petrol stations? Uh, uh, you know, we live in a country where six months out of uh, 12, it's really cold. Would not it be nice if you could pay by just sitting in your car? Just, uh, just uh, push, pushing a button in your, on your iPhone and that's it. Wouldn't it be nice if you could share your bill? What happens when five friends come to a bar, they, they, they drink a pint of beer and, and, and they get a bill? And, that, uh, and they cannot share that bill. Now, if they have no cash, if they only have credit cards, uh, who pays? One of them has to pay, right? Wouldn't it be nice if you could share that bill, if you could, try, if you could forward the bill? Wouldn't it be nice if you could uh, make a payment for your mom when you are out in the US and your mom is making a payment here in Lithuania and she is out of money? There are plenty, plenty of opportunities that we can give to people if everything works on, uh, in all verticals, all places, and, and one device. And that's what we're building. We are building a new payment ecosystem and uh, we are building this ecosystem to the banks so that they can really become digital and that is possible. A few founding stones of the, of the new payment ecosystem, uh, these are uh, the uh, pay, uh, POS uh, software um, uh, infrastructure. We have already built it with uh, some of the biggest players in the Lithuanian, Latvian, Estonian, and Russian markets. This is a POS system. What we are doing together with them, we are integrating our IP, and, uh, and this is the third button in the system. There is a button called cash, there is a button called uh, credit card, and we are building a button which is called a mobile payment. And through this mobile payment button, users will be able to pay with our application, we will be able to pay with banks application and all the other payment service providers, we will be able to make a payment as well. So imagine what it means to a merchant, a merchant who doesn't want to invest into any more hardware. He has to make three very simple steps in order to accept the, those type of payments. He has to update software of his current POS terminal and that's it, that's just updating. In some cases, we will have to pay for it. In some cases, it will be just uh, one of those updates that, uh, that they will get. Um, open uh, an account on our system, that's, that's easy, right? And the third thing is to uh, register your post terminals and, uh, and get a, a small code. That's it. Well, basically, for a merchant, the current payment ecosystem requires a merchant to uh, bring uh, hardware, to buy hardware in some cases. In this case, that, is, that can be done in a day. For a customer, for a consumer, he just downloads an application, and this application can be our application, it could be bank's application. Imagine your Swed Bank application or your Set Bank application connected to all that I'm speaking about. Uh, just scan a code and make a payment, which you confirm with your PIN code or with, uh, with, a, with a mobile payment, uh, uh, mo uh, mobile signature. And that is it. For a bank, we just integrate with our, with our infrastructure and, and here you go, all the payments can be done in a, in a digital, digital way. Uh, in addition, you bring all those additional features to your users, which uh, they currently don't have. So this is where we are. Currently we have uh, access to more than 1,000 uh, 
uh, points of sales, and that has been done with no, not too much uh, of, a, of, of an effort. We have contracts with banks, as I mentioned, they are competing which one of them will be, will first start the system. We integrated with Post Software, we are working on integration of all the loyalty cards, that's coming soon. We have an MVP, my minimal viable product, it has been launched in three locations, and boy, we have patented this. This is patented in the US and, uh, and that's gonna become huge. Launching later in 2013 and we are on fire. Um, most of those things which I'm speaking about, when I told uh, some of the guys, there are two opinions. One opinion is, boy, you are crazy. The other opinion, yeah, well, this is, this is the future. And to all of those who think, that, who think that we are crazy, both me and my team, we have proved that there are ways to turn the impossible into possible. So that's what, where we're heading to. If you want to join, if you are an investor, if you are a developer, if you are a business developer, there is room for that. So thanks for your attention. I'm not sure if I have probably not any time for questions, but I will be here and, uh, and, uh, and, and you're welcome to, to connect with me. Thank you.